join the people of our state and our whole country, and indeed our world, that here in Illinois, almost 13 million people strong, come together in their democracy. Not everybody agrees on every issue, but when a majority speaks on such an important issue as civil unions, then we must yield to the majority and let the people have their opportunity to have a law made. And one person who is very, very involved in making this law possible, a sponsor of the law in the Illinois House of Representatives, a place that Abraham Lincoln himself once served in long ago. I think he uh, embodies the spirit of Abraham Lincoln with his commitment to democracy, and talking to his colleagues, putting the votes together with many other fellow members of the General Assembly. Uh, it was really inspiring to see the debate take place, a very civil debate. Without further ado, I'd like to have the sponsor of legislation in the House of Representatives, Representative Greg Harrison. Ensure domestic tranquility, 
provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity, to ordain and establish this Constitution for the United States of America. The very first words of this country's founding document made it clear that our union was not perfect and is not perfect, but we, we must continually strive to make it more perfect. And it's clear that the founders understood that freedom is never a given, nor should it be taken lightly, but that we must fight to secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. Our history has been one of centuries of struggle to become more perfect, to change our laws and our society, to expand justice under the law for all Americans, regardless of race, or gender, or national origin, or religious belief, or sexual orientation. And although we celebrate another milestone in that struggle today, our work still continues. We must continue to fight for our freedom, both within the world and within our country as well. When Markel and Lee and Travis and Jane and June led us today in the Pledge of Allegiance, they remind us of generations of proud Americans who have risked their lives in defense of freedom so that we have this chance to make it better today. And I think we need to salute them. to ensure that the will of the people will always be the one. 